Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video where I help you guys make some money here in Red Dead Online. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a unique video and a unique uh, situation and area that we're going to be going to and you're going to want to make sure that you guys have your health cores filled up. Unlike mine right now, they're pretty drained, so we need to make sure that we're ready for this trip. Now, we are located just outside of Rhodes, and I'm going to show you guys here on the map once I actually... Oops, I didn't want to get into my satchel. I wanted... Oh, yeah, actually, I wanted to get into my satchel there. I wanted to eat some of my cooked plain venison to get my cores back up as best as possible. You guys are going to want to make sure that you guys have food before you make this trip. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is we're actually going to be heading out to these islands right here. Now the specific island that we're going to be going to is this one right here that I've marked on your map with which is just west of the Brightwaite Manor. So we need to make our way down there and the best way to actually get there is by horse but once we actually get out to that location then we're not going to want to be on our horse any longer. Now, the reason for that is because, honestly, it's just going to be easier when it comes to some of the animals, and you can get unlimited amount of them just by walking up and down the coast. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to swim out there with our horse. It's going to help us save our energy because our horse is actually is going to be able to absorb some of that energy for us. But then we're going to be able to kind of run around and collect the animals and head back to roads. Now, if you guys combine this with other money-making opportunities, you guys will be able to make a decent amount of money, even with the economy basically being complete BS right now. Now, hopefully Rockstar will eventually get their act together and they won't... Uh, you know, decide to keep nerfing the economy, especially to the people that truly just like to hunt and maybe not like to play showdown modes like myself. But, uh, I mean, I don't mind showdown modes. It's just that I, I like to make money in other means. Now, obviously, right now, it's a great way of making money, and I'm sure we'll play some more showdown series over time. But yeah, that it is kind of it. It is what it is. But anyway, this is why you want to be able to take your horse out here to this location. Now, when you guys do get out to this location, you can see that my energy is pretty much like non-existent on my horse. My poor horse kind of just, you know, pretty much ran a marathon right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our varmint rifle, our vermit rifle. And then what we're going to do is you can either have the bow or the varmint rifle. And then I recommend that you guys have your bolt action rifle. We're going to be using the varmint rifle uh, a little bit more right now. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and tell our horse to flee because I don't really want it near me right now. Now you can see right here, we already have a loon. So I'm gonna go ahead and peg this thing, right? Give a little kiss on its head, and we're gonna start this whole process. Now, if this thing was obviously was a three star and it was worth decent money, then I would probably consider putting it on the horse and then sending our horse off away because it now our things are supposed to stay on the horse as much as possible. But we want what you guys want to do is you just want to make your way around here. Go ahead and uh, we're gonna shoot this toad right here. And then we got um, this uh, muskrat right there. We're going to give that a nice little tickle. Um, go ahead and uh, pick up that toe. We're going to go ahead and store that into our satchel. You can also do a little bit of fishing out here if you guys really want to. It's another way of adding some money to, to your uh, pocketbook. I'm, not, I'm just going to go ahead and skin this muskrat. I'm not going to put it on the, the horse by any means because I decided to shoo it away. But uh, basically, all we're going to be doing is just running around this this island and making some extra cash. And you're obviously going to get resourcefulness for, for doing that. Now, every once in a while, you'll get birds that will fly over top of he your head, like the blue herons, and there'll be seagulls. But what you have to do is just kind of run up and down this area and just kind of come over here. And you can see that there's another gull here. And I can see another one that's just kind of chilling there and i missed that one how did i miss that oh well we got one so we're just gonna go ahead and skin this guy now this is probably not going to be one of the fastest money making methods out there but you will be able to fill out your set or fill up your satchel 
a decent amount before you guys take it back to roads with a different variety of animals. I mean, we've already seen, uh, we've already seen toads, we've seen gulls, we've seen loons, and all of those will actually amount to different uh, opportunities to make some extra cash. All right, so now what we're just going to do is run back here, and we should start to see that, okay, now there are songbirds in the area too, so if you guys can get those and actually do a decent job at shooting them out of the sky, then that's extra money for you guys in your pocketbook. But this island should give you guys pretty much everything that you need. Look at, we got ducks right here just chilling. And we're going to get some experience points for that. Oh, they're they're actually flying over the island, which is which is actually beautiful. We're going to go ahead and grab the ones that we can right here. We got a boat right in front of us, so we can always take that for a joy ride if we wanted to later. But look at this. I mean, we've we found some ducks, we found loons. Uh, we haven't seen the herons fly over top yet, but they are there. Just make sure that you guys are paying attention to what is obviously in the sky above you. Now, obviously, with the most recent change to the economy, the herons and egrets and other things just aren't worth uh, aren't worth quite as much anymore. Which honestly is is a little bit unfortunate. But there are other ways that we can still make decent money with flight animals, uh, birds in particular, obviously, is what I'm referring to there. Uh, we can still get um, good money from other birds besides kind of the exotic ones. Oh, look at that. We got, is that an eagle or a hawk? What is that? It is a hawk. All right, so we can go ahead and get the hawk which will net us some decent uh, money as well. So you guys can see the variety of different uh, animals that we are getting. Most of them birds, but there are toads uh, around the, this island. Obviously, we found one right away. Just make sure that you guys are kind of pointing your varmint rifle around. So you can see there's another common loon right there. Give him a sweet little tickle. And uh, there's... Oh, I kind of focused on him just briefly. But it looks like he decided to fly away on me. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this loon here real quick. And you could spend... What's really nice about this location too, especially if you're not wanted, nobody's going to know that you're out here. Uh, nobody's going to know that you're out here at all because of the new bounty system that we have in effect right now. Find more mammals. So there we have a gull here just kind of chilling. I almost missed him. I got a little bit... Uh, overshot him a little bit there and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back along this way you can oh there we go now we got our herons they're gonna be way too far out in the water for us to get but but we got a couple which is what we kind of want oh we got a songbird out of it as well but i want to get this guy before he gets too far out of my reach. But if we would have waited just a little bit longer, we could have uh, got all of them above the island. But there's proof that they just kind of keep coming to this area right here. And you don't have to worry. Look at all of them right there. Look at all of them. You guys, this is a great spot to be in order to, um, to make some extra cash. But we're, we're kind of waiting for them to kind of get a little bit closer. It'd be nice if they would actually fly over the top of the island. What do we got here? We got uh, white pelicans. Unfortunately, they're not coming over the top of this island right now. But that would have been a great additional income right there. Especially with the brown and white. Well, here. And if you guys want to peg these guys off to make, um, you know... <laughs> if you guys want to be able to uh, get the experience points from it, you definitely could do that. So uh, this one might be a little too far. Yeah, I can't pick them up. It's just a little too deep. All right, so we can go back around this area. Got balloon. And I don't, I don't think they're going to land on the... Uh, Oh, that guy landed just... Oh, can I can I reach him? Is he... Oh, good. Oh, good. Look at this, guys. We can get him. Pick him up. 
And we're going to bring him back up to the island and we can skin him next to his friend. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for just a little bit longer and then we're going to go back to the the butcher in Rhodes and we're going to see how much money we fully ended up with. All right, everyone, I have finally arrived back at the butcher in Rhodes and I was able to kind of pick up a couple things along the way back. And by that, I mean I got a deer and I also picked up a... Uh, a turkey. Unfortunately, I didn't get two, but you can see that we got 1947 in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So 1947 is the amount to remember, but we got a lot of stuff that we're going to be able to sell here real quick. And we're going to get rid of all of it right now. And we're going to see how much money we're going to make. Uh, you can see that all the different types of feathers are completely different. If you guys want to save the meat, you definitely can do that. $1.50 for the hawk feathers that I was able to get from that. Uh, we're going to get rid of the plume. We've got the turkey feathers that I got at the very end. Um, I'm going to keep them, uh, the venison because I want to keep that for uh, cooking. So I'm going to get rid of these robin feathers that I decided to break down. The song bird feathers as well. We've got the gamey bird meat. I mean, look at all these different types of feathers. We're getting $1.20 for each loon. Duck feathers. We've got the elk antlers uh, I picked up from before, actually. Uh, the frog legs. Okay. We got the, the muskrats, we got the poor one, we got the animal fat that we got from the ducks, we got the well, all different kinds of stuff. We got the turkey, the the deer pelt, and then the carcass as well. So honestly, we made fifty dollars from that trip out to um, that island. Which all you have to do is keep going back and forth, and you guys can make some decent money. Never have to worry about getting interrupted. It's really not that far away from from roads, and you can pick up other things for your horse on the way back, whether it's turkeys or if you guys want to, you know, pick up a deer or maybe go after the panther. Whatever you guys want to do, there's a lot of different things that you guys can do with this specific route, and I definitely recommend that you guys give it a try. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.